This is episode two of my interview with Heidi Marie, the fiance of Timothy Ravel Reed. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Erasing Borders. And now, the news. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. My name is Rob Christian, also known as DC Born Rob or DC Rob or Rob. I answer to them all. Thank you for watching. Again, this video is episode two of my interview with Heidi Marie, the fiance of uh, murdered chef and business owner in Barranquilla, Colombia, Timothy Ravel Reed. Uh, this happened uh, April 20th of last month, and we've been doing what we can. I've been doing what I can to keep this story alive. With your help, we can actually get representatives involved, possibly an investigator involved. But the whole goal is to keep the story going, especially with the strife that's going on now in Colombia, so that the story does not get lost in the sauce. So uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to present part two. I backed up maybe a minute or so. Thank you so much for uh, kind responses. Not so kind responses as well. Thank you for your responses. It doesn't matter what kind. There was no real hate or uh, furious animosity. So thank you so much for that. Um, please be respectful. We do not know. We don't know where this young lady is coming from. I don't know. I'm not saying everything she says is true. I'm not saying everything she says is false or a piece of either or. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to put the information out there as best I can. I'm not a journalist. I'm going to miss some questions. I asked uh, quite a bit and she was quite forthcoming that I can tell. The responses were right on. I, you be the judge as to whether or not they're true or not. But we really can't say she did it. He did it. We just can't because we don't have the information. We don't have all the information. And I promise you this, the more information you have, that your decision and perspective may be swayed. So the more you listen to, see if you're starting to figure some things out. But still, I mean, it's all a sketchy situation. So let's just see how this uh, plays out. But anyway, this is part two with my interview with Heidi Marie. Thank you for watching. Oh, that was our fusion. That is what we had planned to do. Okay, yeah, I think I think I saw the video. That may have been one that you sent me. It was uh, chicken curry and uh, rice and peas. Yeah, he prepared yeah. his curry and I prepared the salad and I prepared my rice. He he told me the first, that was the first time he tasted my rice and peas and he was so excited. He said, babe, if we go to the U.S. to sell even just the rice and peas, I know we can get rich just off the rice and peas. He said, this rice and peas is just awesome. That was him. Okay. Did he still have a business in the U.S.? No, because he was moving everything here to Colombia. Okay. He was the one who asked at 10 and do everything in his business in the U.S. He didn't want no one to live in charge or do this because, you know, it's not everybody going to cook like you or do the same things you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I so the reason you got the place that was both an apartment complex, had tenants and it had a restaurant. Was the restaurant yeah. still open? Yeah, but he yeah, the people downstairs had the restaurant have moving on still. So after we move in, the idea was to give them a time so they could move out and we could start work. Okay. I think I saw the sign out front. Was it? Did it say soul food or something? This, no, no, what, no, no. What type of fast, food was it? It's a fast food restaurant. It was fast food. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't wasn't sure. So, so they had what? About a month to move out. Move out. Um. Yeah, a month or two, even three. The regulation, the laws here in Colombia, says up to three months they have. Okay. So the law dictated how long people could stay there. Now, there were tenants in the yeah. building also. Uh, how long? Because I know you guys moved in. I remember the video of Timothy walking through and showing the apartment that you guys were in. It looked nice. I mean, the work was it was well done. Um, but, but I know that he said that people had just moved out that day, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how long did they have to leave after he purchased the building? No, by it was um, there was 
there was here before, but um, it's just like, I mean, with the apartment they had here. So the owner told them from the very beginning that that had to, to, to be done. So they moved out. Okay. So he told the tenants, the owner of the property told the tenants ahead yeah. of time that he's selling and yeah. when it sells yeah. that they're going to have a certain time to leave. Yeah. Okay. So, so they weren't shocked, but I think at that time there was still somebody in one of the apartments, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it was with, um, they had contracts and stuff like that, you know? Okay. So they did have a list. And, and mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the, the, the owner of the, I'm going to explain the owner of the, the building, his brother was in this apartment. So by it was his brother, he had to move out immediately. He didn't need no time to move out. Also, the apartment upstairs. So they just move out and that's it. That didn't cause no conflict or nothing because it the, build, the building was already um, in paperwork to get be acquired by Timothy. Okay. So the apartment that you guys moved into was his brother's? Yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay, so I, I know you videoed uh, a lot of his videos, but he also recorded himself. He said in yeah. a few of his videos that he was recording for his safety. Do you know what he meant by that? But but it's not safety because he thought something was going to happen. I was there when he was videoing that one. Mm -hmm. We were standing in the balcony. It's mm -hmm. not because he think his life was in danger. It's because you know you are making a business with someone about a building. So he wants to have everything video so that whenever, suppose the guy um, by his family was here or they don't want to move, they, they didn't want to move out, the one they don't want to move out those stairs or, or the paperwork don't go good. He have the proof that he gave his money already. It's not because he he thought his life was threatened or, or he was in danger or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the one video when he, right before he did the walkthrough and he was on the balcony, he did look a little worried. Or stressed, should I say? No, he was at least he stressed. was stressed. Yes. He was stressed. We were going through a lot of stress those days because of the purchasing of the building. You know, it wasn't a little bit of cash. He had to pay all the paperwork we gone through. I mean, it was real stressful. So um, he said, baby, we're going to do this. And then next week, we're going to relax. We can have a vacation. We can go to your island, know your people, know this, know that. Or we can go to Santa Marta so that we can be stress-free, come back fresh, and start moving on. Okay. But it was just because of the purchasing and moving around. We get up early in the morning. We sleep late at night. You know, that was it. It's not because of his safety, because as I'm telling you, no, he wasn't worried about nothing like that. Okay. Okay. So it was more so just stress dragging on because you could we see We were it real stressed, mm -hmm. real. We were handling a lot of stress about this. What, what was most of the stress from, from the amount of money? Because it wasn't a little bit of money. It was a quite a bit of money. Yeah. Yes. I mean, getting thinking, um, we have to do this today. We have to run to do that tomorrow. I mean, every morning early, we have to get up and move around and, and you know, that give you stress. That is stressful. Getting his paperwork done, getting he looking about his visa is is real hard, is real difficult. Yeah. I, I can imagine. I can imagine. He and he was talking about moving his smokers down. And uh, yeah. 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 I'm sure getting the restaurant together too. So had had the other restaurant closed and that owner moved out by the time you guys moved in? We moved in. They no, they weren't closed. They aren't closed. They were just um, um, 
they, as who I told you, Colombian regulation gave like three months. Okay. So mm-hmm. he was trying to get everything in order. Timothy was a man that he liked to give one step forward. So what he used to do is try to get everything done. If he had to buy his things, he said we have to go and walk around, go price mark and look at stuff. You know, um, he told me to start researching the internet so that we can see where we can get the um, industrial kitchen and the stuff for it. So we were doing all these things. So I'm telling you, that take a lot of stress. It's not a little bit of stress we were going through. Sure. Right. Apart, we were trying to get our paperwork done so that we could get married the week. They kill him. We were supposed to get married the week after by the notary. We were getting where I had my my birth certificate. Yeah. But we had all his paperwork, so... We could start taking the papers to the notary and and getting married. Yes, I'm so sorry. There is a, a <laughs> picture of you holding up a document. Is that was that from the notary to get married? Was it? A, I'm not sure how the what the law is down there. Oh no, that is like a uh, um certificate that we were living together that we were we were engaged and that we were living together okay they we were went to the, okay because we were we went to the notary asking for the papers to get married what we need and so on so we did that okay <laughs> i got it i'm so sorry uh, so, what? Would, by the way, what was the owner's name? the The property owner's name. I don't want to disclose this information. I mean, that is something personal. I don't know okay. what people can be thinking, or you know. Okay. It's just due to respect. I don't want to give this information. Sure. No. No worries. So, at, so the deal has been done. The so that owner has moved on. He cashed the checks. But you have the property. Now. Yeah. Is that correct? No, I don't. No, I don't have no property. I thought you were. I'm living there. here I'm because. I, no, I'm staying here. Yes, in one of the apartment because I was living here with Timothy before he died. Mm-hmm. But this is not my property. I mean, okay. at any moment. I'm living here with my kids because that was what he wanted, but it's not my property. I'm not doing anything. I don't have nothing, not even a job because before Timothy passed away, I had like a couple of days I wasn't working, moving on with him, making his paperwork, and, and not even a job I have. So, I have nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I'm so sorry. People just speculating what, what, I mean, I don't have nothing, nothing. I'm hands down. So, so the money from the sale went back. I mean, did they cancel the deal? There is no deal now. And the money goes to Timothy's family. No, every, no, I don't know nothing. I'm trying just to wait to see what is going to happen with me and my kids. We weren't married, so I have rights to nothing. So does the money go back to his biological family? Do you know his parents? I his, don't know. No, I don't know. Until now, I don't know nothing about this deal. Okay. that's the. I think that's the, the big question is he paid almost $200,000 to the owner. Now the owner has the property and the money? No, no, no. He, I don't know what the owner have to do with this process. I don't know if the government is going to take over because the government, Timothy is deceased, the government can take over. So I don't know what it is. I don't know how it is. I don't, I don't know how any process is right now. Okay. I'm not looking into this because. I'm sure it's a lot. I'm sure. It's I mean, a lot. I'm just trying to get over, over this. Yes, I understand. And I thank you so much for coming on. People need to hear, need to hear this, need to hear what you're going through. 
Um, and I'm sure I see they have a guy on, on Instagram just pushing and pushing and pushing and being so hard. You know, it's, it's, it's for me, it's disrespectful the way he's acting. But anyways, I'm not into this for being fighting or quarreling. Everything I'm doing, I'm just leaving it in the hands of God so that he works, he do what he have to do, the authorities have to do what they have to do, and that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to be strong because I got my children. Absolutely. I have my kids, and my kids are not passing through a rough moment. My son was looking through the window when this happened. When after it, my daughter crossed went behind me rushing because she saw me running when when I saw Timothy. My daughter saw Timothy bleeding out on the street of me. I had kids living in this house with Timothy. I mean it's not only Timothy and myself. I have my kids. I have my kids with me. Yeah. I have a grandson. My grandson wasn't here because he went to San Andreas with my oldest daughter. But I mean, that you that maybe that baby have one year and a half. He loved Timothy even more than what he do to me. I'm serious about this. Yeah, I can only imagine what you're having to go through. And ultimately, I thank everyone. You know, I, I send good vibes and prayers from my viewers, from myself, from my family. Um, our hearts go out to you for what you're having to go through. Um, there's, I, I believe there's just been a lot of speculation because no information is given to the public and we care. I mean, there are, you, you need to rest assured that there are thousands and thousands of people that are concerned about Timothy and what happened to him is is not right and should not be overlooked, should not be pushed to the side. And, and this this no, is my reason. No, it, it cannot, it cannot, it cannot. But I mean, I don't want to be bothering people. I don't want to bother myself because I have a lot of things I'm going through. Is not only Timothy dead is that I have no job. I have to look around. I have to, my family support me. Thank God we are united family. So my dad is with me right now. He doesn't make me go on the streets by myself. Everything I have to do, I have to move around with my dad. Doing paperwork here, sending papers there, doing this. I mean, it's hard, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Having to have to have to have to be um, getting in contact with to to give information about what is going on because people want to know. But still, I cannot be doing this every day or moving around every day with this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I I I'm not resting. I'm restless right now. I'm sure. I'm tired. My body's tired. My brain is tired. My eyes are tired. I have right now my left eye. I have to see if I get an appointment with the doctor. My left eye just be jumping and jumping and jumping like his nerves. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> you know. So that's the situation right now. Okay, I understand. I, I wanted to ask one more question too. You told me uh, a couple nights ago that uh, the picture that was taken of Timothy was taken by a neighbor across the street. Yeah, yeah. Um, I sat up with her like two days after my sister showed it to me. We live that the that picture was taken from a, the street he was sitting on. We live um, going up on the right hand side. He was sitting on the left hand side and they took the picture from the inside the house he was sitting in front. He had his back turned to the house and they took the picture of Timothy. How did, and how did your sister get a hold of the picture? Because she saw it on Facebook. 
Somebody posted it on Facebook. A neighbor posted. It. Yeah. Yes, you you saw the picture too. I mean, it was yeah. it is circulating. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's circulating. My sister saw that and she said, "Hey, I need to show you something. Don't get desperate. Just look at this. When I look at this, I say, how come this happened? Who did this? Why did they put a picture on Tim of Timothy and have it circulating? Why didn't do this? That that is a, a house in front of where we live. So if you're looking out of your property, you're almost at an intersection. But if you look straight out, it's to the left or the other side of the street. On the other side of the street where Timothy was sitting. On, I mean, to the, the because I think it's almost an intersection. So you're almost in front of an intersection. So if you go straight mm -hmm. out, there's a property there, but then there's a street to the left. He was on the right hand yeah. side directly across from the apartment. Yeah, he was sitting on um, where the apartment is, where he buy the building, mm -hmm. across the street, while right where he gets shot, is at a house, have a almond tree, and he was sitting there. Okay, so he was probably just sitting out front, looking at his business and his. Yeah, and yeah. looking at everything. He was waiting until I finish here inside the house because we had things to do. So he get breakfast. He went and trash out. When he trash out. He came back up, he sit down in the balcony a while in a rocking chair we have. And then he took the stool because he had a stool. He took the stool and he went downstairs and sit across the street from the apartment. We live on a second floor. That picture was taken while he was sitting downstairs somewhere. So it is in the in the uh, in front of the house yeah. where we live is where he was sitting. Yes. Yeah. I, I get it now. I get it now. So okay, all. So there's part two. Now you tell me. Just as I, I mentioned earlier, do you think you know more now than you did before? Does your perspective change a little bit? Maybe not your thoughts as to who's guilty, not guilty, and so on. But you have a better idea as to uh, what uh, happened. A little bit of an idea. Again, we're never going to know it all. I mean, we need to see the cameras. We need to see that footage from the cameras. Uh, as you see, uh, I use Google to pretty much walk across the street and look and try to figure out which house it was that he had sat the stool and sat down in. Um, anyway, a lot of thought has gone into this. Uh, please be patient. Part three is coming soon. Anybody have any information, uh, please uh, pass it on to me. Thank you so much for the emails. And you know who you are, uh, a couple of people specifically who have sent some valuable information. If by any chance uh, Mr. Reed's son sees this video or anyone knows Mr. Reed's son, please have him contact me and let me know if we can actually assist in any way or if he'd like to just say, you know what, leave this alone. I'll deal with it from here and we'll support him from afar. But uh, the family needs to get involved. And from what I understand, uh, they are seeking to get more information. So anyway, any other information? Again, dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com, dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com. Also join our group. More videos on that side. Thank you guys for watching and be safe. We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.